If you have a PlanMaker Pro Max 3D Classic Extra Machine and you face with an issue where you see this screen which says please wait extra unit is moving and you see this button at the bottom which keeps on blinking and does not move forward then this video is for you. To resolve this issue we need to understand the block diagram of PlanMaker Extra System Setup first and next will follow with solution steps. Some of you who wants to jump on solution can follow these eight steps. For rest of us, let's understand the system setup block diagram first. The system setup block diagram here has four main components to it. Extra unit, switch, Linux server, Windows machine. Extra unit represented here by A captures the x-rays on a sensor. The captured data is sent to a switch where it passes the data to a Linux server represented by B. Then Linux server reconstruct the image from the sensor data and send it back to a switch and then switch pass on that information to Windows machine. Now this Windows machine which is represented by C here has a database running on it to save the images and a client software to manipulate the images. Sometime you might find third party practice management software integrated with database to save the images in it. With the understanding of X-ray system setup block diagram, it will be easy to follow solution steps. First, we need to power off the X-ray unit which is represented by A here. In second step, we need to power off the image reconstruction server represented by B here. And in third step, we need to close the max exposure client software window represented by C here. Once that is done, we can move on to step four, which is just to wait for 25 seconds. Once you are done with that, you can safely move with step fifth, which is first you need to restart the image reconstruction server. Once you are done with that, you can move on to step sixth, which is to restart the extra unit. Once you're done with that, you come back to Windows machine represented here by C and you open up DMAX Expert Client Software window. Once you are done with these steps, after that you can go to x machine and follow your X-ray unit workflow and that should resolve your issue. To power off your X-ray unit, you need to figure out where your emergency button on your X-ray unit is. Once you figure it out, if you see underneath that, you will see a power cutoff switch which says mains. If you press and release that button, it will cut off power to the machine. And that's how you power off your extra unit. Step 2, you need to power off the image reconstruction Linux server. And the way you do it, you just press the power button for a few seconds and you release it. That will turn off the power. And why you have to do it manually? Uh, this Linux server is headless, which means it's not connected to any keyboard, mouse, or monitor. In step 3, you need to close DMX Exposure Client Software Windows on your Windows machine. In step 4, you need to wait for 25 seconds. Once you're done with that, you can move on to step 5, which is to restart your image reconstruction server by pressing power button. Once you are done with that, you can move on to step 6, which is to restart your extra unit by pressing the power button. And on step 7, you need to start your Windows machine's client software, your practice management software, or your Pro Max client software, where you open up the window and select the patient and get ready to take an x-ray. Once you are done with that, you can safely move on to step number eight where you go to an x-ray machine and follow the prompt on the x-ray machine LCD screen and you need to follow your workflow. Once you do that and start the exposure on the x-ray machine, you should see an image coming up on your Windows client software and you can see the progress as is shown in the in these two pictures, uh, picture one and picture two. Now that's how you solve the this issue. 
These steps should resolve the issue. If not, then please call Plan Mecca Tech Support for further assistance. If you have any comment or suggestion, love to hear that. Thank you.